What's going on guys? Welcome back to Art Adventures. So today I am doing something a little bit different. I'm doing a little voiceover and I am using my sketchbook instead of doing an actual full piece of artwork. Um, we are emphasizing the holiday of Easter here at our school and I wanted to give the guys an opportunity to uh, use patterns, designs, and colors to make this awesome, fun composition. And so I'm just here giving you guys examples this could be a very long tutorial if I did a tutorial on it. And so I just decided I'm gonna go ahead and do a voiceover and speed this up as fast as I can, get it out to you guys um, so you guys can see the different designs that I'm using and the compositions. So the one on the top is pretty basic. You have a hill across in the focal point re representing Jesus and the resurrection. And then you split the four designs by different patterns. The bottom one is a similar design, except it has those sun rays with different patterns. I absolutely love this assignment because it puts the emphasis back on Jesus. It puts the Easter holiday um, back to the true meaning. There would be no Easter if there was no Jesus and the resurrection. If Jesus never resurrected from the dead, there would be no celebration of Easter. And so we are putting the focal point on the cross and the resurrection. And I absolutely love this project. And so after I go ahead and ink this, I get started on coloring and the coloring is basically using as vibrant of colors as I can, but also using contrasting colors or colors that just kind of play well together. And so you see the purple on the left side with the um, yellow emojis. Uh, this green, I didn't want to do a red, um, but I probably should have. You'll see uh, in a second um, at the end of the video, kind of describe why I should have used a red instead. Um, but also you have blues playing off oranges, um, reds playing off greens, so on and so forth. On the bottom one, you have the magenta, which is on the purple side, uh, playing off of the yellow. And then you have the orange um, playing off of the blue, which you'll see in a second that's gonna be on the bottom. And then the focal point being the crosses that are completely different. Um, the one that's on the bottom is this black and white checkerboard that you'll see in just a second. And the one on top is that yellow and black uh, striped cross. And so both of these drawings came out really nice, better than I expected, to be honest. But man, that bottom one really, really draws my attention. I love the colors, I love the contrast, and it just looks really, really nice. These drawings are also very simple. It just takes a little bit of patience. And so on this bottom side, I use this really bright yellow to put the focal point on the cross and the words, uh, the word alive um, to really bring out the resurrection. And then that blue really made that yellow pop really nice. I really enjoyed that. All right, guys, well, there you go. So I've just done two uh, examples for this assignment and um, just kind of giving you guys more ideas of how to use pattern to complete your projects, your assignments, make it um, look a lot better as far as your artwork goes. Doing things that are a little bit more basic, but turning it uh, into something that looks really good is even just doing a lighter shade or a lighter tint of, or a lighter hue of a specific color range and going lighter to darker, 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 and darkest will give you that value gradient that makes it look a little bit more 3D, but it also looks uh, very uniform. Um, and then it makes those colors like that yellow alive pop out. And so you know what the focal point is. The black and white checkerboard is completely contrast against the vibrant background. And then same thing here, you have all these vibrant colors and then the uh, focal point being the cross in the middle on the top one um, in that yellow and black. Now, again, I mentioned the black on black here. That was a complete mistake on my end. Um, I should have thought that out better. Maybe use gray or even a different color, maybe a, um, uh, some type of red to complement that, that green and just go off of that. So, uh, or even if it was a darker green, it didn't matter what color I used. Um, the only thing that I couldn't use was black. And what did I use? Black. So my mistake, but again, this is a sketchbook and this is for your ideas. So if you wanted to go ahead and do it on a big piece of paper, take your time. I rushed this. Um, so there are imperfections of course. Um, but the idea was to give you guys some food for thought and some, uh, 
uh, ideas on how to uh, complete this assignment. With that being said, I'm out. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.